it definitely feels good to get that win after uh, after Friday night's game and to finish out the three and three strong here. Well, you know what, uh, we played. I thought we played one of our best games in San Antonio on Friday, and we obviously didn't uh, get the result we wanted. And last night we had the battle game, and I didn't think we were great, but we got the win. And then tonight, I thought we, you know, for the amount of bodies we were down, I thought the guys stepped up well. And you know, see Jamel Smith went up on the line there, and I thought he played very well. So. Um, these are games which really define some of your development of your younger players. And uh, I thought Stransky had a strong weekend all three games. I thought uh, Jamel Smith is really starting to come along. So it was good for us, and we had to use uh, Dal Houston up on the front line here today. And, and it was good to see him uh, you know, draw a penalty, which we scored on to kind of reward himself for the bad penalty he took early on. But um, it was a hard-fought game tonight that we had to grind out against a very good hockey club. That's a big, strong, talented team that uh, – is a big two points. It only puts us three back from now. So, uh, and we talked about that before the game. It was a chance for us to get back into a, you know, a playoff spot for a day or two. But it, it keeps us in the hunt. Talk about Smith. Just this as a audition potentially for him to get more time in the top six and how well he played tonight. You know, I, I wouldn't say that. I would say that um, you know he's actually been playing very well here the last month, and he's kind of had some peaks and valleys in his games and. You know, we, well, we saw some things that we liked offensively. He's hard on the puck down low. He's got good speed. And we really thought that he could really uh, take a step on that line and give him a little bit more of a puck possession game. And I thought he took advantage of that. And, and like you said, if it, if it works out for him to play in the top six, now we got a guy pushing you know, to play some extra minutes. So it allows us to have that depth, allows us to have a little bit of a inner competition amongst centermen or whatever you call it. But it's, uh, it's good to see him get rewarded. You know, Obviously, the first goal was a great turnover. Getting in on the forecheck, finishing your hits, and then on the on the goal he scored the second goal. He uh, just simple funnel puck to the net. Richie went, created a bit of a uh, distraction, and he found himself a nice little empty net. Did you ever imagine? I mean, the kind of, I mean, he told he told us that he had not played with them on a line in practice or at all in a game this season. So, are you a little surprised at how good the chemistry was right away for them? Well, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think he brought a little bit more offense tonight that line than Fox did. Um, he, I think he's got a little bit more of a offensive upside and then so that you start to see where their roles are going to develop within the organization. Smitty's going to be a little bit more of an offensive production guy. You know, Raddick's going to be a little more of a defensive forward that's going to be a shutdown guy. So I thought that fit well with that line tonight. They logged a lot of ice time and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it was a, it was a good result for us. What is the status uh, for Raddick and uh, Dowling? Well, they're both, they're all day to day. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, Matt Mangine left in the in the third period. Is it What's his condition there? I haven't heard yet. I know that they've uh, he has gone to the hospital to uh, to get looked at. He he blocked a shot and he's spitting up blood. So that's about all I can give you right now. And hopefully that uh, he's okay. But uh, we he's we he will be looked at here. We'll go from there. The one goal you see made it wanted back, but otherwise, obviously, world different from how he started the weekend to tonight. Solid, you know, especially a third period. They had a push there, and uh, you know they had some, uh, generated some great shots and. I thought he was solid uh, throughout the game, and if you're going to have goals like that, and you know, it's kind of a throwing puck below the goal line, caught him off guard. But um, I thought he was solid from start to finish. You guys talked about doing these games in chunks. You have eight or however many. Where, where are you in these uh, in these segments right now, and, and what are you looking forward as you move toward 2015? Rally. You know, if you look at the uh, if you look at the segment board, we got we achieved 10 out of 16 points the first one, and then we think we only achieved I think it was six out of the, the next eight games, and then we were 11. And this one here with a win tonight, that puts up us about seven. So we need to get another win to get nine, which isn't good enough. So you, you see some peaks and valleys in your games, and you can attribute that a little bit to injuries, call-ups, sicknesses, and you can really see that go through. But um, tonight, you know, we're, we're kind of hanging in. If you get ten points in, in all four of those segments, it puts you right in that playoff line. So it's right where we want to be. And, uh, hey, it's a battle. It's all about development. It's grinding out wins. It's a tough league. You look at all the uh, all divisions, all the conference, two conferences. Uh, you know, you go on a four-game heater, you can move right up. You go on a four-game losing streak, you move right down. So every game is important. Do you like the heading into the next couple days after three and three? I know you guys haven't had a formal practice in over two weeks, but you've played three and three. How do you manage that? Uh, you guys give the guys a day off tomorrow. How do you manage things going forward? Well, three and three, we're going to give them a day off definitely tomorrow, and then on uh, Tuesday we'll be. Uh, probably just go to a skill day just because you know, we've had such a heavy load here. Drop Fox, I drop Dowling, drop Mangine. So we're going to be pretty taxed. We don't want to tax it too hard on a Tuesday. And we've got a big weekend coming up here going into Charlotte. So we want to make sure we work on some system work on, on, on uh, Wednesday, Thursday. And that sets up for the weekend.